Hi, I'm Kyle from VDI Laboratory. Today we're going to cover how to properly use the new dried serum test kit. Inside the kit you'll find the following components. Directions for use, either a test requisition form or patient information card, a foil bag containing the dried serum device, a fixed volume pipette, and a return envelope. Please do not open the foil bag until serum has been collected and processed. This kit requires a minimum of a half cc of serum, but we suggest collecting one ml. While serum is processing, completely fill out the test requisition form prior to loading the device. Once serum is ready and the requisition form is filled out, open the foil bag and remove the dried serum device. It's best to reseal the bag after removal. The device has two wells, labeled A and B. Using the fixed volume pipette, squeeze the top bulb and insert into the blood tube. Release the bulb until serum fills the stem and serum enters into the lower bulb. Then position the pipette tip over well A and compress the top bulb until the serum is expressed. It's normal for serum to remain in the lower bulb. If there's enough serum to fill the stem, repeat this process for well B. If not, do not fill well B. Some test configurations require both wells to be filled. Please review the test requirements prior to beginning. Immediately place the dried serum device back into the foil bag. Do not allow to air dry. Make sure the zip seal is closed tightly. Place both the test requisition form and the foil bag into the return envelope. Close the zip seal completely. Remove the self-adhesive cover and fold the flap until the edge reaches the line. Press to seal tightly. You're now ready to mail. If you ordered kits with tracking, remember to record the tracking number. A quick photo from your cell phone works great too. And that's all there is to it.